question. I'm a person who is mostly driven by curiosity. Curiosity about why the world is the way it is. There are two things which make me curio curious when I start hearing about religion. The first is, well, maybe, there, maybe God did make the universe, or maybe some intelligent did, ma did make the universe, but then my curiosity gets the better of me. I can't control it. And I start thinking, yeah, but what made God? Or what is God made out of? Is it made out of atoms? Uh, is he made out of molecules? How many dimensions does God move around in? Uh, does God satisfy the laws of quantum mechanics? What uh, agency allows God to poke his uh, thing into the laws of nature? And by the time I'm finished, I come to the conclusion that the number of questions, the number of curiosity uh, demanding questions that the hypothesis of God raises is more than the number of questions that it answers. And so as a scientist, I say, okay, I don't need that hypothesis. <laughs> uh, or at least it doesn't help very much. The other element of curiosity that always, I am always provoked, always is provoked within me by religion is an entirely different question. Not how the universe formed and so forth, but why it is that human beings have such a strong need for the irrational, a strong need for faith-based irrational beliefs. I believe that's a scientific question. I believe it's a question that's rooted in our neural networks. I believe it's a question that's rooted in Darwinian evolution, and I am fascinated by it and extremely curious about it. Those, I, we could talk about why, <laughs> but, uh, that is my own 